Good morning, good evening, good afternoon traders. Steve here at Logic FX Trading and welcome to our trading room summary on uh, Monday the 4th of May 2020 folks. Um, on Friday as we predicted we had a drop on the China 50 and then we said well let's, let's see if it gives us a little setup um, for a further push down. Um, I don't know that that's going to happen, definitely, guys, but we are getting a little possible, a little setup going on down there. Um, I've done a lot of research over the weekend and read a lot of news stories this morning. And, uh, you know, the, the idea that the world's economy is just going to bounce back from this is um, crazy. So I think we will test the bottoms again, or certainly the 61 point eight retracement um you know something of that sort of order um but possibly further down guys we'll have to see if that actually happens but that's what i'm looking for uh the nikkei hasn't fa fallen as uh, dramatically as the um as the china but nonetheless it fell and um <clears throat> it's hung around down in that position these aren't great charts guys because uh, you've got to pay extra to get um, better charts on the uh, the markets the aussie yet again fell on friday with everything else and we've had a little rebound this is what we drew on uh, on friday after or sorry friday morning where we said well let's see if it gives us a a little setup to go short again not entirely sure that that's um, what we're getting but nonetheless my alarm is on the downside rather than the upside so that's what i'll be looking for german there's the gap over the weekend guys need to reset i think i reset all of these um in the trading room sometimes you forget the save up here guys and then they revert to what they were so yet again it's edging there i would like to see some sort of setup there little bullish or sorry bearish flag in order to look and, and of course it could end up coming right down we'll have to see guys at the moment we just had the first little move now we've had that little move down that little move down that little move down and that one and they've all turned and gone long but is this the one that's going to start the uh, deeper correction, guys? Possibly. Possibly. French dropped even further than the others, but it's come into this area here. Is it going to break further? Um, I would like to see a bit of a pullback in this before. Maybe not as big as that, guys, but certainly a pullback before looking to drop it again. Other than that, if it starts to come up impulsively, then maybe tomorrow or the day after we look to trade it long. But we'll just have to see what happens in the Dow Jones the day when it opens, and that will, you know, probably set the scene for what's going to happen in the rest of the, the world's stock markets. Uh, just so out of interest, this is the little um, diagram we were drawing last week. Do you remember when we had this situation where we had an impulsive move up, and they were getting this this barrier this barrier triangle if you want to call it that and we said we were drawing it at the time this is a reproduction this isn't the actual original because they accidentally uh, rubbed it out but uh we we basically said there this is a representation of it often what you to get is you'll get a push up and then you'll get a pull back off off the uh the, the end of the push, push up and that's exactly what we got. We got the breakout and now we've had a pullback. Now we've just got to see, is this the start of something deeper or is that just it? And then it's the start of the move back up. So we'll know for the next couple of days which which of them we have. That's the UK. Same situation on Friday. Thursday, I think maybe we drew this. We did, we drew it on Thursday because it actually dropped on Friday. And we said, well, we'll see if we, if we get a drop a pullback or a little setup and then we'll get a maybe get a push further on down there's that same diagram there guys where you know we're now looking to see is this going to pull back down again nasdaq sorry i missed one nasdaq's pulled push back down quite significantly compared to the dow jones and the s p um 
let's just see if it maybe gives us a little setup for a further push down. S and P, same thing. Not as as as, uh, but it's closed at the moment, guys. The rest of them are all open. This one's closed at the moment, so they'll probably open with a gap down, and then from there we'll have to see, you know, whether it gives us a bearish flag or whether it starts to recover. This is what we drew last week, um, because we said that a one, two, three, four, five, and within the five with a one, two, three, four, five, so we timed it quite nicely and. Um, we we'll just have to see if there's more downside. Hopefully we get a little bearish flag there and then it goes. And the same with the Dow Jones. This is the one that I'm short in. Unfortunately, I got short from here and then had to ride through this. Nearly got stopped out, guys. And then we've come back and we're breaking even at the moment. But I'm, I'm in two minds whether to, you know, take a break even or whether to stay in it. Because if it did go, then, you know, wouldn't be really foolish getting out there. And if it comes back up, then I've, I've got a, you know, a stop loss up there, guys. So you take your loss. But there's your potential gain. Um, dollar. My opinion of the dollar uh, from here was that it would, dro it would drop off those highs. But it wouldn't go too far and i said it may you know end up doing something like this but once it actually came down and settled here i said okay it's not possibly not going to reach those previous highs but we'll get a bit of a sideways movement going on here maybe at the time we were saying uh you know, when was it two weeks ago we're saying that maybe this would break that top and then we would get a kind of a a diagonal moving up similar to what we'd been in for a year and a half prior to that over here to see this type of thing but we might get something like that but if, if you go back and say into the four hours and you look at how the dollar was moving or dxy was moving over the year and a half prior to coronavirus i don't think it's going to suddenly change out of that guys it's good because it's still despite the fact that the US economy is going to be in trouble as well with with the uh, coronavirus etc it's still a safe haven folks so I can't see it suddenly doing something like that I don't know why that was in there Um, I can't see it suddenly going down breaking that bottom and starting to impulsively move down not yet not why we're still in all of this trouble and all of this uncertainty when um, when there's uncertainty in, in the world economy, the dollar's a bit like that, guys. When the US economy's doing good, doing well, the dollar's high. When the US economy's doing badly compared to the rest of the world, the dollar drops. But when the rest of the world's doing badly, regardless of how the dollar, or how the US economy's doing, the dollar stays high, folks. Because it's a safe haven. Okay, the United States would have to be in a much worse place than the rest of the world for the dollar to drop. So for me, it's going to stay up here. How it's going to look exactly, I don't know, guys. But it's going to stay up and possibly in a little range up here for a while. And then as we get out of this, now it may take a couple of months, it may take six months, it may take a year. We don't. That's the thing we don't know. But as we get out of it, then you start to see the dollar dropping off, folks. But for now, for now, we got that. It's come into this area. I suspect that it will move back up, maybe to the top of that channel, guys. Remember, it isn't painting by numbers. It isn't exact, guys. It's not an exact science, but it's about saying... Is the dollar going to stay up here or is it going to go away up there or is it going to go away down there I think it's going to stay in this this band this area so possibly it's going to move long this week but we'll have to see what happens to the stock market guys um, and then you can plug that information into all the major pairs so I wouldn't particularly look, be looking to trade the dollar short this week with the Aussie 
um, dollar against the US dollar. We called this and we said, well, if we get a pullback into that, say, trend area, maybe we get a push up. I don't think that push up's coming, guys. I think there's more downside to this. So we've got that little bit, we got that bit right. But I think maybe we get a bit more downside to, to it. And then after that, maybe the, the Aussie dollar comes back up, reaches there again. It's come up tremendously well since the drop, guys. But whether it's got the impetus to go on up there or not, something that we'll need to wait and see because the dollar would have to drop off for that to happen. Okay, uh, oil. I was going to finish there, guys, but I forgot about oil. I more or less said, I've said it that many times, it's starting to look like a mess. I've more or less said that oil will hang around down at the bottom. Now, I'll show you why I'm saying that. Well, the reasons why is because there's a glut and it's not being used. And even if we come out of, of lockdown, industry's not going to get back to maximum capacity for a very long time. So there's going to be a glut. Now, they have cut output. But uh, it's still going to take a while. Whether it's a few weeks or a few months, I don't know. But I don't see oil going up into this sort of region for quite a few months, guys. And if you take it back to the last time it was in this sort of uh, price range, which was back in the 80s, I think it was. Way back here, guys. Look. Now and again, it spiked up, but it just ran sideways. At twenty dollars, if you want to add a bit of inflation in, maybe it runs sideways at thirty dollars. But the point of it is, we're not going to see this sort of movement for a very long time, guys. So I can see oil bouncing along here, maybe a little spikes now and again, and what have you. But I can see it doing something like that, not suddenly recovering back up to where it was before coronavirus. Okay, that'll do us for today, guys. Speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.